we're going to take a quick look at roofs and walls and their connections, uh, as well as um, uh, some rafter alignment issues. Uh, so the first thing, we have a wall here. It's just a generic wall from uh, the template. Uh, we're going to go up a story um, to the roof story, and we're going to turn on the trace. Uh, let's go to uh, trace options and below current story. So now we have uh, this wall right here. Um, going down a story, let's go ahead and copy this to the floor below as well so we can see kind of a three-story intersection. So now we're back on the roof story. We're going to go to our roof tool, just grab one from the favorites again. The important thing to note here is that we are going to place this roof from the inside face of stud, sloping up, and we're going to align it to the out face of stud. And what that's going to allow us to do is um, get a quick bird's mouth um, out of this roof. We can offset all edges out. Let's say we have a two foot overhang here. Um, now when I open up my section settings, um, let's go ahead and zoom. I'll make sure that this is in the right spot here. Uh, the reality is we probably could come in here and set that to zero and that should work. There we go. Uh, so now we see these two overlapping elements in section. If we select those elements, right click and say connect and merge elements, we'll get a nice clean bird's mouth. Uh, the reason that it's important to place the roof from the inside face of the stud is that, uh, let's say our roof pitch changes to 6 and 12, uh, it maintains that bird's mouth around uh, the roof. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this back to a 3 and 12 roof um, and take a look at some uh, barge trim. Uh, modeling and alignment to the roof. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, model in our gable end wall here. Um, now if I uh, paste this up here, so I get a gable end wall here, let's go ahead and take a look here in 3D. Um, so I have my main wall here, I have my gable end wall here. I can pull that down um, to my ridge height uh, and in here now I want to trim this out so I'm going to use the solid element operations uh, that's under design menu um, and that's going to be my target my roof is going to be my operator and I'm going to trim with upward extrusion and we're just going to say execute uh, for the most part that works just fine um, you can have a separate overhang uh, if you wanted uh, that wall to run all the way up to an open soffit or something like that uh, but if it's a closed soffit like this this usually works for enough detail um, Next, we want to take a look at adding a bar drafter. So to do that, we're going to add a beam here. Uh, this beam, we want to make sure that we're using a square beam. Um, let's just go ahead and use the trim. Um, 2 by 10 is probably fine. Uh, let's make sure we have the right layer combination here. So I want trim exterior. Um, and I'm going to give it the right category and a name here. Okay, uh, and typically uh, we would want to see this bar drafter uh, tuck into the roof like this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a section through that way now and see what's going on here with that barge. Uh, so the first thing we notice is that we're not really at the right height, uh, but we're going to need to adjust that anyway. Uh, but this will be the operator, the roof will be the target, and I'm going to subtract with downward extrusion, and we're going to say execute, uh, and then we get that nice clean barge in section. Uh, we can then take this barge rafter, which would typically line up there, and then in the top hot spot we can grab this node right here, and snap it to right there. And now we get that downward extrusion. Um, so that's how to do a bar drafter. That'll work for any rafter along this face. Um, you can also add a quick shadow board. Since we already have this slope, we, we have a manually lined that. So now we know that the slope is 14.04. Uh, we can grab another beam right here and say that we have a shadow board. Uh, this is three and a half inches, and maybe it's only a one by or five quarter by. Um, and we can then reposition that. So this is how I typically manage uh, my trims, my roofs, my wall connections.